Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some it's not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So uh, this is part two, y'all, of my video about Jamie Foxx. Okay. So let's finish this up. Um, I told y'all we're going to go down some rabbit holes today. And we gotta go, we gotta go deep, okay? So we just went into the industry and you know who Jamie Foxx was circle, you know, the sharks that was swimming around him, Michael B. Jordan and all this stuff that he was trying to, you know, um be around, and they wasn't really feeling him like that, okay? Now let's get into the other side of Jamie Foxx's world, y'all. Okay, let's get into the other side, okay? So it's Jamie Foxx, born December 13, 1967, y'all, okay? And this incident that happened to him also happened 410 or 411, okay? Um, Lance Reddick was born June 7, 1962, and he passed away March 17, 2023, okay? And I wanted to... um. I don't know. I was just playing around with my um, date calculator, y'all. And I put both of their information in, in between each, because they, you know, this incident happened so close to each other, okay? He just passed away in March. And then the very next month, Jamie Foxx. So I was like, what is, you know, the time between the both of them? The incidents happened, okay? So I put in June First, this is when he was born, and then I put in Jamie Foxx, you know, December the 13th. And when I put in this, y'all, six, 66 months and six days popped up 666. Okay, I thought that was weird. Okay, and I was like, wow, 666 pops up 66 months and six days apart. They were born. Okay, then let me see. Can y'all making sure y'all can see what I see? Okay, y'all can see it. So, then I put in, you know, when, you know, the incident happened of Jamie Foxx, April the 10th, 2023. And I put in the date that Lance was taken out, March 17th, y'all. And it came to three weeks and three days. So, there's your 33. And I was like, wow, what a coincidence. You mean to tell me? 33 degrees pop up, which is Mason's stuff. And then 666 popped up in between the time. Jamie Foxx was not supposed to make it, y'all. And we don't know if he has because we're getting a bunch of lies right now. We know that they're replacing him in everything. They're not just replacing him. They're replacing his daughter's role. Okay, he used to do a show called Shazam or something like that with his daughter and they just replaced his role with um nick cannon i don't know why they replaced him with him because he looked like he on his last leg too but they replaced him with nick cannon and they replaced the daughter as well y'all okay so when i tell y'all it's some weird stuff going on it's some weird stuff going on in the industry and i'm telling y'all it has to do with the industry what's going on you have to be careful what you wish for a lot of people want to be celebrities but y'all don't know what these celebrities is going through okay um fairy man this is the name that he is playing i'm, I'm going back for a sec because i saw 56 and something okay that's 566 okay so fairy man remember i told y'all about that number you got to keep looking out for that 331 or 133 or 313 number it keeps popping up so in that movie, um, the movie that he made, um, God is a bullet, um, he's playing the fairy man, okay? And a one three three comes up in ordinal. And if you look at Kabbalah at the bottom, two three two pops up. There's that skull and bones number again that popped up under fairy man. Okay, y'all. Um Quran. 
who is the fairy man, y'all. That's his name, Quran. Um, look what pops up, y'all. 23, which is this year. Um, 313 pops up too. I told y'all these 313 keep popping up around Jamie Foxx and other celebrities that was taken out in a similar manner, like Aaliyah and Lance Reddick and stuff. This 313 keeps popping up, y'all. I was like, this is so weird that it don't make sense. Okay, let's keep going. Um, 313 means casket, y'all. Okay? It's, this, you know, this, it's crazy how this stuff is popping up. And people want to brush this under the rug. People want to say, oh, it's conspiracy. It's this and that, that and this. But ain't no way this stuff lying up like this. And it's just it just can't be a coincidence, y'all. It just can't. Double cross also means 133 and 223 skull and bones, okay? Persistence. Was somebody persistent in trying to get at Jamie Foxx? Um, did he know that he was a target? I'm just saying, did he know it's time? They know when it's their time. They know. A lot of them start trying to fight it now. You cannot sign your soul away to the devil and then turn around and act as if, you know, um, it's going to go away. Sooner or later, your car is going to get pulled. And like I said, you know, um, I'm just wondering, did he know? No, y'all. Okay. I noticed that his daughter went out of out the country and all this stuff right before they was trying to take Jamie Foxx out too. So I was just like, you know, what, you know, what are the odds to this? Okay. Um, Hollywood, California pops up and he's, this is where he live in Valley, California. Okay. Um, disgruntled popped up and that equals one three three as well and i if you go and look this up disgruntled means unhappy and uh, unhappy and annoyed y'all um wasn't that what they were saying that he was at the the movie shoot they say that he was annoyed and he was firing people he fired four people didn't they say this y'all that he fired his own driver he fired a producer and he fired two directors, y'all. So, he was fed up. This is what this means. Dissatisfied. Angry. This is what's popping up in his numerology under... The name. Okay? Under the name that he basically played. The fairy man in the movie. Okay? This is what popped up under it, y'all disgruntled um secret society popped up to 133 so we all know about the masonic stuff that's a secret society but yeah that's also means that 133 now this got me right here when this popped up y'all i hope y'all can see it but diaz popped up ain't that cameron diaz last name cameron diaz that equal 133 too y'all d-i-a-z Look at it, y'all. Look at it. And that popped up under that 331 stuff, too. And I was like, what are the odds of that? You know, this is weird, weird, y'all. This is why I keep saying, you know, is there a connection? I don't know. I wasn't there. And this is for entertainment purposes. But this is weird, y'all, how this stuff is popping up. It is. Okay? It really is. Um, sacrifice also equals 133. Three. This came up too. Sacrifice. 133. Three. It came up under the numerology. And I was like, okay, we're getting a lot that's coming out. Um, God is a bullet. This is the movie that he did, one of his last movies too. And this is coming out June 23rd, 2023. Um, if you put that in June 23rd, 2023, look what pops up too, y'all. 313. This number just kept popping up all around Jamie Foxx, y'all. Um, it wasn't meant for him to make it. Whatever is wrong with him is serious, serious, y'all. And word on the street is, this is the latest report that they just put out. And they said that the doctors are scared to let him go home. Are they scared to let him go home because of the condition that he's in? Or are they scared to let him go home because somebody might come back to finish the job, y'all? 
there is something a brewing, y'all, when it comes to Jamie Foxx and this whole situation. And it's seeming like um, they want to play with our intelligence, like his daughter and them talking about, you know, his her daddy and them just made a post sent, telling everybody, you know, he can't wait to see everybody and this and that and that and this. Jamie Foxx is not that type of person. Jamie Foxx is the type of person that will let people know he's doing well if he's doing well. It seems like it's all about the money. They put that fake, allegedly, y'all. I don't know, but I'm just saying, the majority of everybody feel this way, and I feel this way too, okay? Um, that that whole post was fake. It wasn't even from Jamie Foxx. So why would they put that up? And why is they, if he's in such a serious condition that he's in, then why is they caring that the show must go on you know, about all of the stuff that he was tied to. You know, you are promoting on his page now to throw people off that cares. It's, you know, people just is concerned about Jamie Foxx right now. So why I keep playing these games? From the start, his daughter has been playing games. She tell people that, oh, he's doing fine and this and that and, that and this. Then we found out later that he done went back, slipped back into, you know, out of it again and then he was woke back up again allegedly um and then ugh, they said he'd been in and out of conscience y'all okay um i don't understand it and is they keeping this on the hush hush because whomever done it jamie fox knows who did it and is it a possibility they want that person to think that he's fine or do they you know just want to keep people in lim limbo, lim you know, lingo, whatever y'all call it, la la land. You not knowing what's really going on with them, y'all. I'm just saying. Um, it's a reason that they're keeping it away from not just the public, as far as you know, the fans and stuff like that, but they are keeping him and his situation and everything away from other celebrities. For a reason, y'all. I'm telling you. It's a serious reason why they are keeping this away from everybody. These are some of his celebrity friends that he was close to. And they're not telling them the truth about what's going on with Jamie. They're not even letting them come visit him, y'all. That's weird to me. That even none of his friends are being allowed. Okay? Now, when you put in God is a bullet, um, look what comes up. It comes up twice in God is a bullet, in which I was like, wow, why is this even coming up twice? 133 three and 313 three popped up in God is a bullet, y'all. Um, these are no coincidences. I'm just here to tell you, these are no coincidences. Order of Chaos popped up when I put God is a bullet, too. That popped up, too. Order of Chaos. And y'all know that's that Masonic stuff. Okay, now let's get back to Greek mythology, okay, on the Quran. Okay, I wanted to just go into that a little bit more. Uh, it's a cycle pump, the fairy man of Hades, the Greek underworld, and it's the son of Erebus and Nyx. Okay, um, in Greek mythology, it is never revealed how Quran came to be the fairy man of the demise. However, acting as a boatman in the underworld is a fitting position for him, considering his lineage, okay? Um, like the gods, he is an immortal being, although his sphere of responsibility is much smaller than that. Um, does this surprise y'all? Now, do y'all understand what I'm trying to tell y'all? That... His last roles, all of his roles that he was playing is, are all in, are all subliminal messages, y'all. Strays, you know, th this big bird comes, picks him up and flies off with him into the sunset. Um, they clone Tyrone. He's been in the hospital over a month. And y'all remember when Kanye West went to the hospital after that? He had his little meltdown and stuff. And he come back acting like he had a little sense again. Um, but it seemed like he wasn't himself after he came back. He's never himself. He's weird in the first place. But, um, you know, people say that people are being cloned. Now, when we say clone, we know that people can't be totally, totally replaced. 
but they can do something to you and give you things that will mess with your mind y'all they do do that and they do that to regular people so what would you think they would do to a person that um then stole the soul and they don't want to, you know they ain't trying to be the next sacrifice I'm just saying, y'all. And they don't want nobody a part of, you know, that's the next circle to be the sacrifice either. You know, you cannot compete with some people. But at the same time, a lot of stuff is starting to be brought to light, y'all. Okay, just like I told y'all that a lot of people is being taken out for the year's skull and bones. It's a lot of devil, ver devil worshipers are being targeted as well. Okay, their numbers are coming up too. And like I told y'all, they want some big fishes this year. Jamie Foxx is a big fish, y'all. Okay? Um, Lance Reddick was a big fish, y'all. And I want y'all to pay attention to the people of color that they're coming at. Okay? You know, it's a lot of celebrities that have been complaining, talking about, you know, they're not getting the roles anymore. They're giving them to people that, you know, is not even from the United States. They're giving them to people that's from other countries. But they're black, but they're from other countries. And, uh, or people of color i'll put it that way and they're from other countries and they're coming over here getting all the roles and the people that we are normally used to seeing we're not seeing them in a lot of roles as they used to um are they doing the out with the old and with the new and is this a part of getting rid of you know the other ones y'all the higher priced ones because y'all see will smith look how they did him look how he's you know out here acting a fool, okay? And being made a fool of, y'all. Look at the, the actors that we have now. Um, The fairy man of the underworld. This is who Jamie Foxx is portraying now. He never played no kind of role like this. And I'm wondering, is there's a dark side to his role in the picture? Because for, the, for them to give him that name, the fairy man, it got to be deep. And then for that, the name of the picture is deep in itself. With the God is the bullet or something like that. Um, that's a weird name to name a, a movie. God is the bullet. Okay. And it's, it's a lot of taunting of God now too. I want y'all to pay attention to that. It's a lot of taunting of God. And you got to be careful, like I told you. Of the movies that you're jumping into and the roles that you're playing and the meaning behind it, you have to be careful because you could be a part of a taunting of God, even the name. Why name the movie God is a Bullet? Why name it that? Seriously. Why? That's weird. And then he, out of all the people in the movie, gets the role of the fairy man. And the fairy man has a dark meaning behind it. That's weird. And his last post is him in this boat. It's so eerie that it's ridiculous. I don't understand it. It's like a slap in the face. And then all we getting from his family is lies. Lies and lies and lies. Now, if you go to the plot of the movie, God is a Bullet, this movie is about um it says somebody in the movie his ex-wife is taken out and his daughter is you know taken by a satanic cult okay and i just couldn't help but think about when i was reading this i was thinking about puff daddy y'all i'm just not gonna lie to y'all um it says bob is frustrated by a bubbling watched official investigation he quits the police force and gets tattoos and infiltrates the cult to hunt down the charismatic cult leader. And as soon as I thought about this, I thought about Puff Daddy. I swear I did. I thought about Puff Daddy. You know, him, due to the fact that Jamie Foxx allegedly is, you know, behind closed doors, was talking to, um, you know, Usher and um, the other guy. Due to the fact that he was talking to them and um, Justin Bieber, y'all. Due to the fact that he was talking to them and a word on the street, it, it, it's about, you know, him putting, you know, allegedly putting hands on them when they were in his home and staying around. 
Puff Daddy. It just makes you wonder. And was they trying to take him down? And Puff Daddy, you know, put a stop to it by any means necessary. He put a stop to it. Um, it just makes you wonder, y'all. And was this a message to Usher and Justin Bieber about him doing what he did to Jamie Foxx? Due to the fact that he could reach out and have somebody, allegedly he could reach out, alleged, 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 that he could reach out and have somebody touch Jamie Foxx. This puts them back in their place to be quiet or you're next. Okay, y'all. Um, look what happened to Kim Porter, y'all. Look what happened to her. Look what happened to um, Kim Porter's baby daddy, okay. Um, he was even in a coma for a long time, too. He, he had, you know, stuff was coming out. He was coming out saying that um, Puff Daddy played a part in Kim Porter being taken out. And look what happened to him. Now, he didn't shut up and went on about his business somewhere, okay? Um, is Puff Daddy getting a little too powerful, y'all, that they can reach out to people and touch folks? Because this is what it's looking like. And is this going, you know, I just keep thinking about the months ago when Puff Daddy was in that red room and he was saying, pray for me. Why was he saying pray for him, y'all? Was it because so many people then got fed up with him and they were trying to release information on him, y'all? And now this happens when Puff, you know, as soon as Jamie Foxx comes out and say a couple words about a couple things, this happens. This is weird, y'all. Weird, 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 okay? And then the part right here that says that the guy who, you know, is trying to take down this cult leader... With the help of the cult's only female victim, Escapee. It just seems like the victim, Escapee, would be Justin Bieber now. They are one of the victims. Okay? Usher is one of the victims. And he was trying to take, allegedly, y'all, a down puff daddy. With Justin Bieber and Usher and them telling, coming out and telling their truth about what was done to them. This movie sounds like their life, y'all. I'm just saying. This is weird. Weird. <sighs> y'all. There is some stuff abroad. Now, I want to take y'all back a little bit with Ricky Smiley when his son passed. Do y'all remember the video that um, he made about um, his sororities? And he was saying that um, his sorority, he, he never knew... That he would have to um, choose between, you know, life or, you know, somebody to being taken out or whatever by being in a sorority. Did y'all remember what he said when Ricky Smiley said that? I'm going to see if I can find it real quick, but I might can't find it, but I'll try. I would try real quick to find it. It's a reason that I'm bringing this up. Here in the streets, um, my son Brandon Smiley passed away this morning. I'm on my way to the um, the airport. Pray for me. I hate to announce this. I uh, just want to give it to you before you hear it in the streets. Um, my son Brandon Smiley passed away this morning. I'm on my way to the um, the airport. Pray for me. I'm okay. And uh, the car is actually here to pick me up now. Life, life come with a whole bunch of twists and turns. I don't care where you go or what. I just don't know what to do. I can't, <laughs> can't think. I don't have an appetite. But I, um, I feel bad for her. Must have been Miss Nichols up in Memphis. I feel bad for her. all the parents that have ever been through this. Just never thought I would be a member of an organization where you have to bury your, your, your kid. It's a terrible, it's a terrible nightmare. Black people, it ain't just comedians. Black people don't like boundaries. Mm. And, and I'm one of the type of people, I'm a I'm an alpha male. So I he say said, what I, say. When I say what I mean, I mean what I say. I'm a grand he never thought that he would be a part of an organization where he would have to bury his kids, y'all. Okay? So he's a part of this uh, Omega Sapphire, I, I hope I'm saying it right, y'all, um, sorority. 
okay? And a lot of people are coming out about these sororities and um, what they are about. A lot of people is coming out about it, y'all. So, I want to take you into another direction right now. Not saying that this is the case, but I want to take you into another direction, okay? His daughter is a part of a sorority, y'all. I found out. Phi Beta Phi. And um, she's a part of the sorority. And this sorority has had a lot of stuff going on with them and rumors about certain things that wasn't so nice in the hazing and all of that stuff. Um, they didn't had a lot of stuff come out about them. And she's a part of this sorority, y'all. Okay? Um, this is her posting piece of party with my five Phi five girls. And then she posted this. Oh, my God. I'm in the best sorority. Friday brunch, Oreo pancakes, banana bread, and monkey bread. <sighs> what a name, monkey bread, huh, y'all? Um, so... This is what she's a part of. She's a part of a sorority, y'all. Okay? And this is what I tell y'all about. People got to be careful what they wish for. You know, I was doing a video on um, Jamie Foxx not too long ago. And I was doing his numbers and numerology. And Children of the Corn popped up. And as soon as I put in Children of the Corn and I put the video up. And I went back later and started reading some of the uh, messages. One of my subscribers brought this to my attention. And thank you so much for doing that. But he said, ain't one of um, Jamie Foxx's daughter's name Corn, Cor Corinne or Corn?" And I went and I looked and I was like, oh my God, her name is Corn, Corn Fox. Okay. And I was like, wow. You know, I did the numerology, but I didn't pay that no attention. When this popped up, I was like, why is children of the corn popping up? That was weird to me. But then I just found out that she was in this sorority. Now, not only that, I had to go do a little digging on her a little bit. Now, I'm not saying that she had a part in this or anything like that. But, you know, when things happen, family members is the first people that they look at. Okay? Um, I looked at... I wanted to find out who she was dating. This is the area that I went in. So I found out she was dating this guy named Joe Hooten. And, and go figure the name Hooten, okay? Um, she met him in college. She met him in school. And she's been with him for a long time, y'all. She met him in school. She's been with him for a while. Joe Hooten is his name. He's very private, Okay. Um, I went to his post and, you know, I went to her post and then I went to his and his was private. So, you know, I wasn't trying to, I ain't trying to follow him. Um, she always put what a hoot at Joe Hooten. She'd be putting that in her comment. And I was like, that's a weird thing to say. What a hoot. And she put it in a lot of her comments about him. What a hoot. Okay. And I was like, that's a weird thing to say. And who has something to do with owls too? Okay, y'all. I was like, wow. If you look up hoot, it says a deep or medium pitch musical sound, often wavering or inter interpreted. Um, that is the typical call of many kinds of owls. And I was like, wow. This is weirder than weird that she put what a hoot on a lot of her um post about her boyfriend and i was like wow so then i went to the images and as soon as i go to the images all you see is owls and stuff like that what a hoot you see it right here say what a hoot and she puts that on all her and that just was so weird to me and he disrespects the owl in his last movie i was like y'all you can't make this stuff up. This is weird, y'all. This is what he's doing to this owl. He's humping on an owl. As a joke. Disrespecting an owl. And her daughter and his daughter. Y'all, make it make sense. So then I go and I try to find out some information on her boyfriend. Do they have any information about him? And um You know, he's a filmmaker, a writer, based in Los Angeles, California. Um, 
I just checked out a few things about him. And y'all know, normally, film writers and all of this stuff, people that's fake filmmakers, they are normally, you know, they know other film people. They know other directors. They know other people that's in the filming industry, producers and directors. And I found that odd for the fact that, um, you know, Jamie Foxx was in there going, you know, mad at that, you know, the movie, you know, taping. And he gets rid of the pro producer and then takes two, fires two of the directors and the driver. I was like, wow. And her boyfriend is in the industry, y'all. It says right here that he is in the entertainment industry at the bottom. Now, another thing that was weird to me about her boyfriend was he has a connection, okay, for, for a while. He went and he did, you know, some work, okay? I guess it was, in, was he an intern or something? I don't know. He worked as at Stars Entertainment as an uh, original programming intern from May to August to 2014. Then he worked as a finance and marketing intern. Yeah, that's what the part I, I bet. For um, a, a realty company in Bangkok, Thailand. And I was like, this is so weird because Puff Daddy has a background in Bangkok around that same time too, y'all. Okay. Puff Daddy was like around that time, you know, he was, you know, he had his clothing lines and a lot of people worked for him in Bangkok, y'all. A lot of people worked for Puff Daddy. They were doing clothes and stuff. It was a big co commotion about that around this same time, y'all, which was weird to me. This was weird. If you go back and look it up, it started in 2012 that, you know, Puff Daddy was urged to act about, you know, the workers that was making his clothing line back at that time. And lo and behold, 110 people passed away in a fire that was working for Puff Daddy during that time. And when I thought about that, I thought about Beyonce with her connections with, um, Korea and y'all remember what happened for Halloween y'all I was like this was weird this is weird weird you know her boyfriend Jamie Foxx's daughter's boyfriend has a connection with the same place at the same time around the same time as Puff Daddy y'all it could be a coincidence but at the same time y'all they are connected they are connected from, and I keep telling y'all, city to city, state to state, country to country now. Other countries is getting in on a lot of stuff that's going on. And a lot of people know each other. And I just find it odd that these things are happening. And right up under everybody's nose, it's, and people are not paying attention to it, y'all. I'm just saying. They're not. They're not paying attention at all. So I just, I, I, I don't know. I just went down that rabbit hole a little bit. And I was like, that's a little weird to me. But, you know, it is what it is. And the name Joseph Hooting, Tootin? I was like, wow. Now, another thing, his other daughter, her name is Annalise Bishop, okay? And her name pops up in a lot of horror movies too, y'all. Y'all got to be careful with y'all naming y'all babies and stuff, y'all. Because y'all might just get what you ask her for. But her name is attached to this Exorcist Tapes movie. Okay? And not only this Exorcist Tape movie. Her name is attached to a, quite a few other horror movies. But this is the only one with, that was supposed to be a true story. That I put up. And I was like, wow. This is weird. Y'all. His daughter's name got to do with a lot of movies that... um horror movies and then he end up with the fairy man name which is tied to a lot of horror right before he gets somebody trying to take him out y'all i just think that's weird weird um when i put in an elise the exorcist tapes that's the name of the movie one 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 popped up and that is sacrificial number i was like wow this is odd so i'm just trying to tell y'all i do believe 
that this was all entwined with some type of industry hit, y'all. I really do. I do believe that, um, and this is my personal opinion. You know, I'm not there. This is for entertainment purposes only. But if you go down and you keep digging into rabbit holes, it's a lot of stuff popping up. And, you know, just like um, Ricky Smiley said, he never knew that he was going to be a part of an organization where you got to be burying folks, okay? Either you go or somebody close to you go. But you have to, when that time comes, you have to give up that person for that sacrifice. And y'all seen sacrifice popped up in those numbers. But anyway, y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about the videos that I just put up. But there's something to brewing with Jamie Foxx. And I'm starting to wonder if he is, you know, still here, y'all. I'm really starting to wonder. Now, people are saying that he's getting better. But at the same time, every time somebody says he's getting better, somebody else says that, you know, it didn't took a turn for the worse again. So we don't know what's really going on. But whatever it is, um, it's, it's odd that they play in these type of games. And it, it also puts you in the mind of... Um, Winnie Houston's daughter, when she was, you know, in a coma for a long, 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 long period of time until they finally decided to, you know, cut the machines off. And, and it makes you wonder, you know, is he on any machines or anything like that? You know, because they say that the, the police came to the hospital and for the police to come to the hospital, he had to been talking. Why would they come to the hospital if he wasn't talking? And then some people are saying now, they're changing it up, saying that he talked to the police before the incident happened. That he thought somebody was trying to take him out. So we don't know because I heard that the police came to the hospital too. So are the police at the hospital because of the whole situation? Is there an investigation going on? And is it a possibility, y'all, that, you know, people are getting sloppy? Are they getting sloppy? You know, I still think that there's going to be some justice for takeoff. I still feel like mob ties is going to, they're going to, it's going to be some justice for him. One way or the other, there is. Um, I think that it, it, it had to open up a can of worms for mob ties. They're, they're, they're always in the midst of some stuff happening to a lot of people, just like Mo3. Right before he gets taken out, Mob Taz was coming to his house and stuff, which made you think that it could it's a possibility that it was some extortion trying to go on with Mo3. They knew Mo3 wasn't going to be with no man. They knew Mo3 was not going to be with uh, no man. Because he put a video up saying that he's a man, you know. He don't get down like that. What else can he do? But he's not going to do that. They knew he wasn't going to do that. And I think they chose that on purpose because the new Mo3 wasn't going for it. Okay, y'all? So they they knew they was going to take Mo3 out regardless. But before they took him out, I think that they were trying to get some money out of him before then. And he wasn't going for neither one. So I'm just saying, y'all, it's something a brewing with this whole thing. And I, it just has me wondering, um, where are those tapes that that, you know, Jamie Foxx has. And has those tapes already been passed on to Puff Daddy? I'm just saying, y'all. And if it is, is this because of somebody close to him? Or is the police involved right now to the point where they're protecting Jamie Foxx? Because it's a reason why they're keeping his information away from his own industry friends, y'all. It's a reason. You know, we need to know where was he when this incident happened? Where was he? Was he in a hotel room? Was he at home? Do we have a place in Atlanta? Um, who was with him at the time? You know, the last couple of hours before that, you know, everything went down. Who was with him, y'all? They said that the person that showed up to um, that, you know, that movie shoot, they said that this person has a history of trying to extort people. So how did this person get on their set? Was this somebody that was a part of the movie? Was this some people that just showed up like they did, you know, um, you know, Nipsey Hussle? Remember when they was doing a, the, the, that video, that last video shoot? He did with the same circle of people, okay? Um, remember the police had to be called to back them off of Nipsey that day? 
So was this some outside people that just showed up to the set? Like, what's really happened? You know, it's a lot that's not being told to us right now. A lot. And they are keeping things so quiet. They're not even talking about, like I said this before, they're not talking about the police that was called. And they're not talking about the fact that Jamie said his life was in danger. All of this stuff has been being on the hush-hush. And it's either two reasons. Either there's an investigation going on, okay? Because Jamie Foxx is a big actor. Um, is there an investigation going on, okay? Now they watching some folks now because of what happened. Is this going to even help out Kim Porter's case, okay? Or is they sweeping it under the rug, y'all? Is they covering up everything right now? It's got to be one or the other, okay? Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.